these surpluses are not to be interpreted as the government having extra cash. Instead, it is the result of prudent fiscal management of the country's finances, which allowed it to more than meet its recurrent expenditure, leaving excess revenue to cover in part the country's debt obligations in interest payments and principal payments. Mr. Speaker, had we not been able to do so, the government would have had to borrow to meet some of its recurrent expenditures, like salaries and wages, rent, utilities, and the like. We have responsibly guided this scenario and will continue to avoid it with prudent fiscal management of the government's financing. Mr. Speaker, the primary surplus balance indicates that the country is developing the capacity to reduce its level of debt over time. A deficit on the primary account would have indicated that revenue on grants would be inadequate to pay the interest on debt. As a, as a result, no contribution would have been made towards any reduction in the debt expenses. Mr. Speaker, I hope this explanation has debunked the idea by some who may wish to mislead the public that government has generated more cash than it needs. Mr. Speaker, notwithstanding these current account surpluses, the government will experience an overall deficit in 2023-2024 of 111 million or 65 million less than last year indicating a lowering of the deficit gap. Mr. Speaker, I look forward to the day when our revenue and grants will be sufficient to cover both current and capital expenditure, leaving us with an overall surplus. <clears throat> if this country is kept in the hands of responsible men and women to administer, as is the case now, it may one day get there.